Well, it's been two whole weeks, meaning that Memory of Chaos has officially reset it, and I've been having my time to challenge the new rotation, and oh my god, is it so annoying! I do not like this new rotation. Granted, I did finish and I feel quicker than other Memory of Chaos I've had to attempt, but this one... This one made me suffer, because uh, I feel like I'm already getting fed up with the Trotters. The first time they came up, it was cool. Like, oh hey, look at these little fellows. You slay them, and then you get some skill points back. But then they did it again. And the second time around, I think it was more fun. I personally had more fun, because they dealt a good amount of damage to the enemies. Like, that one felt so much easier. Even though I think that the enemy started doing more damage. Maybe I'm just hallucinating. I feel like this new rotation they're doing even more damage than usual. So, I don't know. Maybe it's to incentivize people from getting Fushuan. Maybe, I, I could just be hallucinating though. Le legitimately. But anyways. The thing is, they decided to bring back the Trotters. And I hate it. I don't, I don't like seeing these new Trotters. I don't like seeing the Trotter mechanic in general. I like the... Oh, you're gonna have like this random debuff ongoing or like random buff going on in specific scenarios. Like the one for Blade was cool, which was like, oh, we're gonna keep track of how much damage you took, and then that's gonna be like reverted onto enemies. Or when Kafka was like, oh yeah, DOTs are gonna be increased. I feel like the Trotters were cool on first glance. The first time they appeared, it was a nice incentive to alter your gameplay, but. Now that it's been like the third time and we're reaching to be onto week 5 and 6 of the Trotter mechanic, I personally am getting fed up with them. I don't want to see them again. I, I I hate slaying them again. And I don't know, I feel like these new Trotters are good. Like, being able to do 30% more damage to, an, to enemies is massive and then if you stack two of them together because you can stack that debuff twice, uh, being able to do 160% damage is absolutely insane, especially if you have characters that are, you know, like the Hunt, that can do massive damage to a single character, then they do giga massive damage to a single character. Like freaking Su Sheng uh, for my team was doing insane amounts of damage, especially because I was able to use like a like skill ultimate to get another turn into another skill. It was it was wonderful. Like, I liked seeing the amount of damage, but setting up for those moments was obnoxious. It was annoying, and I was not the biggest fan of it. Granted, though, it did feel a little bit like the Kafka rotation. And I say this because there was the moment where enemies would take more DOT damage. Again, it was like tailored for Kafka. That made sense. Uh... And the fact that they had like 60% more damage, more vulnerability to damage made it so that essentially my DOT team had more damage in that regard. And Kafka dealt even more damage in that regard, which was great. I, I do feel like that was, I do feel like this new Trotters effect is pretty decent. I still don't like that they're Trotters again though. I don't know, it rubs me the wrong way. I like for the effects to be present at almost every time, not that I have to fish for it. Maybe it's that extra step that is kind of ruining it for me, or that is making me rant. Perhaps more than I should. Don't get me wrong though, I do acknowledge that this memory turbulence isn't awful. It is good. It is good if you have like specific characters and if you've built your party in specific ways which is what the memory turbulence encourages right granted you don't have to go for what the memory turbulence encourages uh, after all you just need to have a good enough team to beat it and like if you're a giga whale you 100 percent don't need to bother with reading what the memory turbulence does if you're just doing enough damage if your characters just are super built you're just gonna delete everything no matter what so at that point why even bother with the turbulence but i don't know in my case where uh, i i will admit i have whaled uh, like a decent amount but uh 
I don't level up my characters to their strongest potentials. And I feel like the only characters I have level 80 currently have been Jepard and Kafka. Jepard for the defense and Kafka, well, for the DOTs. Uh, the other characters have been up to level 75 or 70 even. Heck, my Natasha is still level 69. Haha, <laughs> very nice. But no, like it's because I haven't been bothering to farm for her ascension materials, which I, which I really need to. I've just been focusing on getting materials for Ching Chue and materials for Haunt, Destruction, and Nihility because Topaz, Jing Liu, and Gwynaifen are gonna arrive soon. It feels still weird to say Gwynaifen, but that's how the game uh, says that it's supposed to be said. So I will say it like that until somebody corrects me and it's like, no, it actually should be like this way. Because I was, even though, small little tangent, uh, even though the game in Genshin says Risley, I still keep calling him Risley because that's how I've been saying it in my mind this whole time. Tangent aside now, back into the game, uh, I do like the fact that I've been able to clear this. It's been pain, but it does feel rewarding to clear Memory of Chaos, even if the challenges appear to be getting harder and it does feel rewarding the price of my sanity though is not as high apparently like memory of chaos will be a cool challenge will be a fun challenge but my fucking god will i feel dead inside after i finish doing these because i feel sometimes i feel stressed and I feel like, again, it's because I don't have my characters fully leveled up, so it's like I'm bringing level 70 characters against the level 90 enemies, so they just look at me funny, and then my characters just disappear, like they breathe on me a little bit too hard, and then suddenly my seal is on the, front, is on the ground, or, I don't know, like in the second wave, right? Not the second wave, the second, the second phase, with these like horror centaur individuals of wind, if they just, if they decide to target Kafka, my like Kafka's dead. Like she's not gonna survive. She's gonna get hit once, and then they're gonna be like, "Ha, huh, you're dead." And then they're gonna stomp again, and like that. That's where Kafka goes. If Locha like heals Kafka, then she's gonna live the second hit. But otherwise, nah. Like usually, my characters will just crumble like paper. The second half is purely dependent on the fact that they're gonna target Clara over and over again. And she's going to be the MVP to keeping everybody else alive. Because if they don't, then I'm screwed. Or if Locha gets CC'd, then I just I just die. That's the one struggle I'm having currently in the game. But it is something that I have to overcome eventually. When I actually invest more in the, char in the characters. It is a long road, but it is still something I'm looking forward to. And I'm glad that for the time being, I'm able to clear Memory of Chaos. I still have to do Swarm Disaster though, which I'm gonna be horrified. I've tried a few times Torturous and it is, it is scary. It is very scary, but I have to get down to it eventually and I'll make a video probably in a few, it will not be anytime soon, but it will be eventually when I, when I, when I talk about it. And I'm gonna probably try to do challenges for it because I think it would be fun. But anyway, that's been all for me. I hope you'll have a wonderful, wonderful, rest of your days and depending on the time that you're watching this video i hope you have a good morning good afternoon or good night so bye bye